jump right into the uh, charts and look at what they have to say right so okay first let's look at nifty <laughs> now this is a fairly interesting setup because we have drawn this channel and we think that the channel is broken right uh, there is a 100 DMA support here. It has taken the support here. It is below 18,000 level. It is below the channel, which is broken. It is above the 18,000 support level. So technically, 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 the chart is at least bearish, right? Why? Because 18,000, which was a previous swing high, where we found a lot of action, <coughs> that seems clearly broken. Also because um, this channel is gone, also because <clears throat> uh, this is a negative candle, but there is a rejection wick and there is a 100 DMA. So that is, uh, uh, you know, against, uh, so the plus points are that, or the bullish point, the only bullish point is that there's a 100 DMA support and there's a rejection wick. The minus points are that this is kind of confirming yesterday's bearish engulfing this is below 18,000 level, this is below the channel, everything is looking bad. Now, if you look at Bank Nifty though, it's a different story. Bank Nifty is holding the channel low. Bank Nifty is holding the 100 DMA and uh, Bank Nifty is still in the channel. So Nifty is bearish uh, below the channel, below 18,000 uh, bearish. So Nifty is very clearly bearish. Bank Nifty is kind of bullish, right? Because the channel can also break, right? So conflicting signals from Nifty and Bank Nifty. Now, if you look at open interest charts, this is very early to say anything, right? There is OI at 18,000, call and put both. Again, the same story here, 18,000 has call OI and put OI both. PCR is 0 0.7, it is very neutral, right? This is where everything becomes confusing now. FII data is different. The green has caught up with red today. FII sold uh, puts and bought calls, 70k calls bought, uh, 50k puts uh, sold, both of which is very bullish, right? But we have to take into account that that could be the unwind of or exit of today's trades also. But the futures is unmistakably bullish. Uh, 1500 crore futures bought, that is bullish. 1500 crore stock sold, that is bearish. So net net, right? My problem is that uh, if you look at charts of Nifty, this is a sell, no questions asked. But you have to be aware that 100 DMA is playing out here. Uh, and who knows, right? If this support holds for a couple more days, we could see it very well go back into the channel. But as of now, it is clearly bullish, uh, sorry, bearish, no questions asked. Below 18,000, the horizontal level, below uh, um, the channel, both of which look bad indeed for Nifty. Bank Nifty, on the other hand, is a different story. It is still very firmly in the channel. And as Bank Nifty is 40% of Nifty, we can't call a clear bull bearish verdict on Nifty when Bank Nifty is bullish, right? So I'm highlighting a conflict, right? Nifty alone, if you look at it, it is bearish. But Bank Nifty still is holding the channel. So if Nifty cracks down further tomorrow, Bank Nifty might break the channel and both of them will enter bear territory. But if Bank Nifty pulls Nifty back up, Nifty is back in the channel, Bank Nifty is in the back in the channel, then we'll see a very different story playing out. So, and the good thing about today is that it confirmed the channel because today's Bank Nifty low was somewhere near the channel. And now it is closing above the 50 DMA. Now let's look at open in, sorry, USD chart, right? USD actually broke the bottom side of this trend line we had drawn and a triangle which was forming, which means that dollar is looking bearish now. Now that's also a problem because when dollar looks bearish, it is risk coming back into the system. Usually that is uh, nifty up and bank, bank nifty up. Uh, but when these correlations break and we also know that over the last 10 years, they've all gone in the same direction, which is up, right? Uh, so dollar for me is a short at this level and I'll try to short it at least till uh, probably 
60 odd level. I mean, we'll see the bottom of the channel wherever the channel is, right? So now we have conflict. Nifty chart, bearish. Bank Nifty chart, still holding the channel. Open interest, early to say, FI data, bullish. So, FI option data, bullish. FI futures data, bullish. FI stock data, bearish. So I find a lot of mixed signals here. And I think it's better to trade once clarity emerges, right? Uh, I'm saying this also because the sheer speed at which Nifty gave us a 100 point bounce after breaking a fairly significant uh, channel, uh, which was a little bit suspicious for me. Yash is saying, I am Yash is a data scientist. Uh, people are predicting bearish market tomorrow. I bet bullish here. Uh, uh, all in one is saying, Kal USD upar jayega. Uh, okay. Uh, Alan is saying, how come USDNR and Nifty, both Nifty and USDNR bearish because correlations break once in a while. Uh, Aman Singh is saying, bring Bank Nifty to 41,740. 41,740. Bhai, sub. 41,740. Uh. What is that level? Oh, the previous all-time high. Okay. Okay, I get it. Okay. Vijay is saying we are going to test that long trend line which falls around 17400 now very possible Shreyas is saying isn't that big just expiry day short covering it could be uh, uh, Fintuit Dijan is saying told yesterday sell on gap up are we heading to 17450 interesting Vijay is asking how are my how was your expiry very anxiety inducing is my answer uh, what are the comments uh, do you advocate max pain theory or I don't advocate anything. So, um, uh, so anyway, so let's just do a quick summary and see what else. Oh, sorry. Today, tomorrow is a week, weekly expiry. So I'm going to highlight one more thing. Uh, last week we did indeed have a bearish, sorry, bullish Harami candle on weekly time frame. If you look at bank nifty also, there was a bullish candle on the weekly time frame, which with good volumes. So all I'm saying is, see, the world is completely negative right now. Everybody is saying, Bechong, 17,450, 16,000, all of this is going around. But with this candle formation in place on both Nifty and Bank Nifty, on weekly time frame, see, it's, it could still go down, but we have to be aware what we are up against. So if you are going to short, uh, nifty and bank nifty for tomorrow uh, please be aware that you are betting against the weekly candle against the candlestick pattern on the weekly time frame but of course uh, uh, harami is much better traded when it has a confirmation as of now it doesn't seem like it has a confirmation and if tomorrow's close happens lower then the harami is invalidated because the harami gets covered by a piercing bearish right same story with bank nifty if bank nifty goes further tomorrow goes to 42000 or something then this bullish harami is succeeded by a bearish piercing. Therefore, it is uh, negative. Uh, finally, let's look at December monthly chart. So this is also interesting because December monthly had a bearish engulfing. And it's very early to say, but you know, last month was indeed bearish engulfing. We have to be aware of that. So bearish. this, on the other hand, is a different story. This was a hanging man or a doji or whichever you chose to call it, but Bank Nifty was this. So net net, right? Um, there is a um, there is a kind of a conflict if you ask me now. Therefore, I'm gonna again yesterday I said ki. You know, I'm going to stay away. The, this is not my day, yay, wo, but I did what I did today again. So, uh, Anup is asking, is expiry day FI call put data to be used for analysis? Anup, not really, which is why I highlighted that it is uh, expiry, so it could be unwinding also. But I'm saying that it is not as bearish as it was yesterday. Uh, but uh, net net, right? See, I understand that Nifty data and all was bearish, but at the end of the day, Nifty closed quarter percent down from yesterday. I mean, we have to also look at it in perspective, right? Uh, it has closed 
क्वार्टर पर्सन डाउन सो वी कॉन्ट से दैट बॉस आज तो बहुत भयंकर नेगेटिव था बिकॉज यू नो it it's quarter percent right objectively it's quarter percent of course at one point it had gone down 200 points but it recovered 100 points and it is uh quarter percent uh, so i think there is some conflict emerging here if you have a very strong bearish view coming from monthly time frame or if you have a very strong bearish view which because you indeed believe that the channel is gone you can take short positions but um, it's it's tricky so my uh, verdict is if nifty goes back into the channel and bank nifty holds the channel we can do bull call split but if the channel is if nifty if both break the channel nifty and bank nifty do bear puts spreads now i'll tell you why i'm choosing bull put spreads and bear put spreads both right so if nifty goes back into the channel right uh, then it will hold there and i'd rather prefer selling options for the weekend because of theta involved but let's say tomorrow we see a gap down that does not uh, that that sustains right then we can expect big move tomorrow itself so if nifty opens week tomorrow and is unable to go up we can see a lot more down move happening tomorrow and if that is the case then you have to play a big rr right so what i am net net saying is that i would if if it's a bullish move which is coming i'll prefer playing bull put spread simply because i don't know how big a move we can expect it might not be a big move at all right but if a bear move is coming i think the move will also be big because it has broken the channel it has broken this level probably we are going to see a test to 17400 or even 17260 so essentially you are going to play the bearish side for a really big move right and in that case i would want you to play a bear put spread because rr is way greater than one but if bullish move comes i'm not sure uh um, how quickly will that move happen right i'm assuming that it's going to consolidate go a little bit slow plus there is this uh, dma here this resistance zone here so we might not really see a huge move on the bullish side but if nifty is unable to hold whatever levels it is going to test tomorrow then it could be a very big move right so for a bullish move i would i would want to play a bull call sorry uh, a bear call uh, sorry a uh, bull put spread right why because it has a very good probability of profit and it has theta k favoring you right and rr is low but at least uh, as long as nifty holds the level you will make money but on the other hand if you are bearish it's probably better to pay a bear put spread simply because uh, the rr is greater than 1 and rr greater than 1 trades are better used when you are expecting a big, big move so my thesis is that if nifty go is going to hold the level it might not give a very big move the probability of giving a big move is fairly low because there are so many resistances above but if nifty breaks further then it is going to be a free fall and it will be a big move therefore you have to play a big rr strategy which is a uh, bear put spreads right uh okay let me just okay so that is our end of comments so anyway this is our analysis for today we'll see you again on sunday night uh, hope uh, tomorrow's expiry goes well for i mean tomorrow's day goes well for everyone regardless whether they are short or long um uh, as usual this is not investment advice or tips or recommendations this is uh, an objective way to analyze data hopefully so as usual uh, most important thing is to do risk management do stop losses uh, keep your uh, focus on preserving your capital on that note i'll see you again thanks for joining uh, please take